I said, I'll be talking about one body or two. And he just turned around and looked at me and he said, 15 or 16. One of the biggest murder investigations ever is now underway in London after the discovery of the remains of three men's bodies. It was horrific. It made the hair in the back of my neck stand up. Dennis Andrew Nielsen. Dennis Andrew Nielsen, described as a civil servant aged 37, was charged with murder. February 1983, an engineer from Dynarod, the drain cleaning company, come along to clear out some drains in Cranley Gardens. And when he arrived, okay. he found what he thought were body parts. He opened the door. There was this awful smell. We were quite aware of what it was. It's the smell of rotting flesh, human flesh. Peter said immediately, stop messing us about. Where's the rest of the body? And he just said, over here, in a wardrobe, in that room. Nilsson was then told he was being arrested on suspicion of causing the death of someone. And then he was taken to our police car that we had outside and we drove off. And I sat in the back with Nelson. I said, are we talking about one body or two? And he just turned around and looked at me and he said, 15 or 16. The victims are probably were the kind of person who frequented with homosexuals in amusement arcades. And this is the danger of the end product. I think they're a disgrace. Why is that? Because there's no need for it. It seems to suggest they're sort of people you don't, almost don't need to worry about. I think that's true, and a lot of the reporting, I think, did paint a picture of there are two types of victims. There are really innocent victims who are nice people who get murdered. And then there are other people that get murdered, but maybe it's a bit their own fault. You know, their lives weren't so important anyway. Who cares about a bunch of scruffy boys? I don't think the police or the social services particularly cared about them. Utterly vulnerable people and utterly ignorable from the point of view of mainstream society not to be missed, even if they were dead. When it all came out about this case, mm -hmm. what was the reaction amongst terror. your mates? Terror, absolute terror. Uh, people were just shocked. But the police, generally, what were their attitudes towards young and gay men? Trash. You know, we were disgusting. You know, we were the lowest of the low, and we weren't. These were kids trying to survive, and what other choice did they have? Is it, this is a case about vulnerable young men then, isn't it, really? Yeah, they just didn't want to know. 